the Universal Marksman was distributed by Dreamgear. It's compatible to the Sony PlayStation 1 and 2 in normal gun mode and both gun con modes. Furthermore, it is compatible to the Microsoft Xbox. This controller looks a lot like the Black Sheep of the Logic 3 P99 family, the P9092, but there are some differences. The shell got distinct reworks and the C button was relocated. The Universal Marksman has more switches and instead of a slight moving force feedback it uses vibration. Similarly, the simple non-Universal Marksman looks like the P99L but is distinct too. I reviewed the Logic 3 P99 family in episode 119. While the slide is movable, it's not connected to the force feedback. On the inside, the dented rail that would grip into the motor gear was removed. The patterns of most serrations were altered. Instead of being a slight release lever, the C button is on the handle of the gun. It actuates a stiff push button switch and works very well. The A and B buttons are distributed to the sides of the gun. On the left hand side is a D-pad. It is rotated 90 degree so that the button closest to A is up. Next to it are start and select. Around the B button are a slew of switches. An on off switch controls the vibration force feedback, which sadly is very weak and delayed. Auto fire and auto reload are controlled independently through dedicated switches. Even the magazine capacity can be set up between 6 and 9 by a dedicated switch. That is if it works, as only in GCON 2 mode auto reload works as intended. In all other gun modes, the player fires for example 5 shots, but then reloads instead of fires on the 6th trigger press. Normal, auto fire and 3 shot burst are the available fire modes. The cadency of the auto fire is very high and might be the fastest I have ever seen in a light gun. Besides choosing auto reload to be on or off, there is a setting called auto reload 1. I wasn't able to figure out what this does. To me it was just responsive in Xbox mode, but clearly misbehaved there. The trigger is tactile, clicky and feels outstanding. The side picture is nice and clear. While the general build quality is high, sadly the Universal Marksman shares the P9092's worst trait. Many of the buttons are unresponsive and actuate before they close the electronic contact. Therefore many buttons must be pressed very hard in order to operate them. Luckily in my unit A and C are fine. A reload pedal can be connected to the heel of the handle. Strangely this socket is not compatible to standard TS pedals. Personally I got it to work by interconnecting a TRRS breakout adapter and then connecting the pedal as headphones. Similarly strange is the way C-Sync is connected to the gun. There is no RCA connector, but instead there is a socket at the middle piece. There the user can connect a TRS channel splitter and connect the C-Sync carrying signal to the right channel. The middle piece indicates in which auto detected gun mode the Universal Marksman currently operates. Blaster is its name for normal gun mode. If the gun mode isn't detected properly or there is another error, the player can reset the gun with a dedicated button. In normal gun mode accuracy and precision are very good. On the bottom of the screen is a narrow dead zone which is probably thin enough to don't cause any issues. Curiously, the single fire mode doesn't always quite work in this mode and acts as slow auto fire. A, C, select and down act as special shot button, whereas B, start and up act as start. In gun con mode accuracy and precision are very good. Sadly, there are narrow dead zones at the left and the bottom. C, select and down are redundantly mapped to A, whereas start and up act as B. In this mode, the gun sometimes has difficulties to find the C-Sync signal. Generally, I got best results leaving the RCA connector unplugged until the calibration screen appeared and then connected. In gun con 2 mode, the accuracy degrades to just being good, but the precision is still very good. Sadly, this mode shares the same dead zones as the GCON 45 mode. In Xbox mode, accuracy and precision are very good again. The C button reloads the gun and A is redundantly mapped to the trigger. 
Curiously, in this mode the Soul Dead Zone is on the right hand side of the screen. I had high hopes in the Universal Marksman and I thought it could be a contender to the Logic 3 PX098 Assault Rifle which I have reviewed in episode 149. But sadly it shares many of the traits that made the lookalike P99D2 a failure. The Universal Marksman is not a terrible light gun at all, but I still recommend getting the P99L instead, plus a dedicated Xbox gun if needed. The box is a see-through blister. I like its design a lot, but I think some of the statements such as its vibration feedback puts you in the game are a bit bold. This is the end of the review. My name is Ben. I thank you for viewing.